Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be talking about solving quadratic equations and the method that we're looking at is saying uh, it's a factorization method. So, let's say you're given an equation, for example, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. The only way you're going to be able to solve this equation is if you can be able to factorize the left-hand side. So, how do we do that? We're saying, how do we express this quadratic uh, uh, expression on the left-hand side as a product of its factors. That will help us to solve the equation. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna look at nine, right? We look at nine, and then remember that the coefficient of x is one here, right? So this is one, and this is nine. So we're saying one times nine, your answer is nine. So the product of the independent term and the, product, uh, and the coefficient of x squared is equal to 9. And then we're asking ourselves now to say, which are the factors of 9, right? We want to be able to split the 6x and express it in terms of factors of 9. So if I can write down the factors of 9, it's 1, it's 3, and it's 9, right? 1, 3, and 9. So it's positive 1, negative 1, positive 3, negative 3, positive 9, negative 9. You'll find that all the, both positive and negatives are actually factors of 9. So it's important to remember that bit. Now, you ask yourself to say, of these factors of 9, which two can you add together to give you six? Six X, right? Which two factors of nine? Nine, how did we get nine? Is the product of the independent term and the coefficient of X squared. That's how we got that nine, right? If this was a two, it would have been two times nine. It would have been 18 here, you get it, right? So from my thinking, I can play around with a 2 because I know that if I say 3x plus 3x, where did I get the 3s from? Because I know 3 is a factor of 9. So if I add 3x plus 3x, it will give me 6x. So I know that now I can substitute the 6x with two terms that are 3x and 3x. Right, so I'll rewrite that, ex that equation to say x squared, this one, plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. But now I'm going to replace this with my u found combination, which is 3x plus 3x. So it's going to be x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now what I've achieved is that I've split the 6x in such a way that I can look at the first two terms and I can look at the second two terms separately such that I'll be able to find a common factor here and a common factor here and use that to factorize the left hand side of the equation. So in this case, there is a common factor which is x. So x x times x will give us x squared plus 3, because x times 3 will give us 3x. Plus, the common factor here would be 3, because there's a 3, there's a 3 there, right? 3 times x will give me 3x, plus 3 times 3 would give me 9. Right, so I have money. I've managed to actually find common factors. Now, I have two terms. I have this one and that one. 
Now, if you look at the two terms, you'll find that there is a common factor, right? And the common factor in this case would be the x plus 3, x plus 3, because the, these two terms are separated by that plus. So I'm going to factor out the x plus 3. Okay, I'll take it out. What is left here? x plus 3, this one, equal to 0. So what I've done is I have factorized the left-hand side and I'm saying x plus 3 times x plus 3 is going to give me a product of 0. But we know when two things multiply each other and the product is 0, we know that one of them is 0. So we're going to say x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0, right? So you will get the same answer, definitely, right? Where you have x is equal to negative 3, or x is equal to negative 3. But this is redundant, right? x minus 3 minus x minus 3. So you just say x is equal to negative 3, how many times? Twice. It's always important to put this twice, because a quadratic equation has two solutions. Because if you just write x minus 3 and not put the twice, you're saying you've lost a solution somewhere. So it should always have two solutions, uh, two roots, right? And this, in this case, the roots are negative 3, but it occurs twice. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.